Hello gladiators and welcome back to the Coliseum. In today's episode, we are going to continue on The Legend of Zelda. Crap, I got caught! I didn't want to get caught yet! No! No! Oh, you suck, Link! You suck! <sighs> anyway, apparently it's a fail kind of episode, but here we did. We got capture room for sick and forest island. I want that five rupees. And we have to be careful because if we get caught, we obviously get thrown in jail, but there is a way out, so we don't need to worry too much. We just aren't going to be able to explore that first part of the island so early. I'm not going to explore it too much, honestly. I just want to kind of get out of here. Save my sister so we can continue on with the storyline. There's not much here besides probably a lot of rupees and there's no important items we can get. Besides our sword, we got to go get our sword. And this is probably the easiest way to get out by getting captured. Um, my bottom screen, I can see the map, thankfully. If you're playing on the Wii U, so can you. Um, you can't attack any of the monsters here, so what you gotta do is just kind of run and hide. You gotta be, you gotta be Ninja Link, man. Ninja freaking Link. All right, we got the dungeon map. We are just balling. I forgot to turn my page on. Give me uno mas, guys. I guess there is important stuff to get if we get a dungeon map, I guess. If that really counts as being important. Okay. Let's see, we gotta jump across this right here. I'm not really gonna worry about these jars, but sometimes they're fun to throw. Just sometimes. Um, let's see, yes, we need to go through this one. Let's see. Actually, I don't think it's this one, but... Yeah, it's the other one. Listen, Sparky. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. Oh, we gotta go take the searchlight down, Death. Alright, so we gotta use our shield to deflect the monsters. Um, get rid of their weapons and then attack them with their own weapons. It's really not a hard process, but I'll show you what I mean. They just want to kill your face. Their eyes glow. It's so cool. You had one job. You had one job, man. You gotta just deflect it just right. There we go. And then you want to grab it? It's mine, sucker! Ah! Swing! Oh, there we go. A is to swing and then B is to throw. It takes a little bit to kill them, just saying. Yeah. Hi -ya. Oh, I thought that would kill him. Oh, it did. Yay! And we got our first joy pendant. We want to collect these for the teacher in the next island. So make sure to kill these guys and pick those up as we go. Alright, where to next, my ninja link? Where to next? We'll jump off here and go get that other guy over there. Sadly, you can't um, carry that sword thing around with you. It looks more like a musical note to me. I don't know about you guys. Let's see if we can throw this jar at him. Ninja Link! Oh, I missed. Attacking bad guys for 25 years! I win. It's okay. Yeah, look at this though. Doesn't that remind you of a musical note? Yeah. Huh, okay. So we got those two lights. That one's gonna be on that side, so we're not gonna worry about that just yet. Come down here and we can... Sadly, I didn't get those 20 rupees at the beginning because I got caught. But maybe I can go back down here. Oh, we can jump down there after we drop the box down there and then we don't have to explore all the way back up. And every time you got into these little off-deck things, it will show you where your sister's window is, but only once, so just remember that. There's a treasure chest we're gonna get. Gonna kill it. Oh look at one ruby. I wonder what could be in here. Probably a compass or something. Or rubies. A compass! Cool beans, I like this. 
Make it link, darn it, I'll kick your butt. You do need to explore the top. Well, I mean, you can explore the bottom. There's not really much down there. But you need to... Um, go through the top area in order to get where you need to go. I haven't had to sneak around piggies yet, but you do have to get barrels on your head and sneak around the piggies if you're on the bottom floor. That's why I personally yeah. like taking this top floor. And gosh, I almost missed grabbing that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if we come over here... Oh, I guess we'll get a cutscene of seeing her window, which is right above us. We're not we're not very far off. Um, we can push this down and then we can... Ex and then we can come back up here whenever we need to. This will lead you up back to there, to where you need to go to your sister. But I wanted to explore a little bit, see if we can find some more rupees. Oh, I didn't destroy the light down here, darn it. Go Link, go Link, go Link! Just give me the ruby! See what's in this lovely door. I know there's only a few treasure chests that actually give you things and they're just rupees so you know I'm not stressing too much. Watch out for those darn rats. Oh my goodness. They'll knock rupees out of you and they'll steal them from you. Well, let's see what we can get through here. This is the piggy part and I don't like this part. If they're sniffing the ground don't get too close because they can sense you moving. But if they're just walking you can get pretty close to them without having to worry. <laughs> this is intense. So slowly move forward. Whew. Don't move when he's looking though. If you're in his light, then don't even think about moving. Oh, there we go. Okay. Very good. Because that's kind of like the sensor zone. Where they can see you. Oh, the bottom floor really, it doesn't have anything eventful. I don't really like exploring it. And we don't really need to deactivate any lights that I know of. Because we dirty deactivated the two that we needed. Well, this one's going to be easy. Oh my goodness. I lied. Oh my gosh, did I lie. Oh, that was scary. I was definitely not going back to jail. Dude, you sniff too much. Quit. Since when does anybody ever come on your darn island? I doubt anybody. Dang. I'm trying to scare the crap out of me is what he's trying to do. Oh, look, a treasure chest. So this is somehow possible. There's somehow a stone pig on a wall that's able to shoot freaking lasers out of his eyes. But here's 10 rubies. Yeah, but does that sound probable? I think not. Another hint, um... Oops. Don't fall off the bed. Is, I'll show you in a sec. No! Um, you can see these four boats on the wall right here. Let's get our... Those four boats right there. Um, that kind of tells you what floor, not what floor, but what area you're at. But you do have your map below and that pretty much helps you. So you don't really need to worry about it too much. Alright, it looks like we have nothing to really get besides that one treasure chest. So you know what, we're just gonna keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I guess I was gonna try to take down the other pig, but I really see no point. Because he's not really bugging us. Because see, we've already been through here. So I guess we'll just go back and...
See, there's two boats on the wall now. But we're just gonna go back and climb up the rest of this forest. I guess if you really call it a forest, it's more of like a forsaken island than a forsaken forest. Oh, it's forsaken fortress. Well, I've been saying that wrong. Can't believe we're only 10 minutes in and I could have had a beat by now, but I decided to go explore a little. As a kid, I mean, maybe an hour if even to get through this stupid thing. See, we gotta get through that, go from that door. Aha, I've got it, Sparky. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister's being held, you have to find the room right below the tower. You gotta take the door to the outside and then climb up from there. You got that? I got that, man. Or woman. Oh my gosh, I hate this part. I always get caught. These piggies are so pigglicious. Ah! <laughs> And then they have the stupid rats there. If you're by the door, they'll knock the barrel off you and then you'll get caught. I don't know, it seems a lot easier than the GameCube version, but that could be because I'm older and I've been playing games for 19, okay. I'm 19, but I didn't play games since I was a baby. So for like 12 freaking years, I'm addicted, man, I'm addicted. There we go. We're close to getting our sword back too, thankfully. See, it's right there where the camera just showed us, where it just panned out on. So we're gonna go get that after we sneak past this darn piggy. I personally kind of stay close to the wall. Um, just there's less chance of his light seeing you. You can be in his light when you're not moving. He shouldn't catch you, but if you make one move when the light is off, then yeah. He will get you. I've had cases where they walk right, like, right through the barrel. I don't know if I should move. Oh, I should move. Oh my goodness. <laughs> going, 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 go! Oh my goodness! Okay, we made it! We made it, we didn't get caught. Hallelujah! We're so good at this game. That's what adults are, man. Okay. Oh, this is where we destroy the last of the piggy thing. Hey! Okay, so let's go destroy this last light. This is, you know, honestly, this isn't really that hard. I thought this would be more intense and difficult, but <laughs> I guess I've been playing Zelda games so much that I've kind of just got it down by now. I'm sure as we get further in the game to, to the places that um, I don't remember, <laughs> It'll be easier. Or harder to go through. I gave him a free freaking weapon, but oh well. We're gonna smack you. Fish slap. Oh! Oh, you hard! Who gave you the right to do that? That's right. Take my link power, sucker. Alright, so we have disabled all of the lights. So now we can go save our lovely sister. Yes, I said lovely because she's just the sweetest little girl. She's so innocent and look what happens. It always happens to the innocent ones. These games and movies just destroy them. I swear. Their souls are just broken. And then they turn evil and they want to eat your freaking soul. Okay, I won't go that far, but still. Alright, this is where we have to sidel on the wall. What's it called? Siddle? S-I-D-L-E? Siddle? Sidle through the wall, yeah. We have to do this because it's apparently possible to do this without losing your balance. I know I wouldn't be able to. 
I will like fall halfway through. All right, we gotta do it one more time. I almost jumped off. That was scary. And we get some hearts. I actually lost a heart in this one. These hearts look really nice though. They're so shiny. So shiny. See, if you would have kept one of the lights on, one of the lights shines through right there, and you would have would have fallen off. So, but here we are. Did you see my sword there on the ground? There it is. Oh, you heard that. Maybe if you wouldn't have been sleeping, I wouldn't have got this far, bub. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for sleeping. All right, let's cut him up. Hiya, hiya, hiya! Death to you, sucker! Oh. <laughs> I tripped him. That was awesome. There we go. Oh, we didn't even get anything. We worked this hard and we didn't even get anything. What the hell? Oh, we did. We got a butterfly. Yay! That really is the coolest bird, if I might add. That is so freaking cool. Just saying. Ganon, that was a bad idea. You should have kept being locked me up and done dirty things to me, not thrown me off into the water. I'm just saying. I'm on another boat. Yeah. Hey. Pull yourself together, Sparky. <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? You're surprisingly dull witted. Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Sparky. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fiercely stand up to anything. Such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of gods attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power we he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of Dark Realm, the ancient legends of speak. I do not know why the seal of gods has failed, but now Ganon has returned. The world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Sparky, do you still wish to save your sister for him? And will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. 
The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess so. In that case, we depart to this great sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail cannot sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask you this, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. You saved my freaking life! I don't find that very useless to me. There's no time for play. We'll come back here eventually. So, like he said, I'm not gonna play around much. But I am in an episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we will see this beautiful island that Link is peeking on. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.